So I said that this section actually dealt with a concept called concentration. We'll get to that in a couple of slides. I want to take a brief detour and talk about um, something called salts. So to most people, to, to you and I in, in most settings, salt, the word salt uh, means table salt. It means sodium chloride. That's what it means to almost all people on the planet. However, the word salt is actually a formal chemical term. And for chemists and biologists, salt means something a little bit extra. It doesn't necessarily mean table salt. Table salt is a type of salt as far as chemists and biologists are concerned. For chemists and biologists, a salt is any ionic compound that is electrically neutral. So ions are uh, atoms or groups of atoms that have an electrical charge, but when you get oppositely charged ions that connect to each other, then they neutralize each other. And whenever you have oppositely charged ions that neutralize each other, they make a salt. So this is a salt because it's made of sodium ions, sodium plus, and chlorine minus, and those two things attach to each other and neutralize each other. Because this is electrically neutral, but it's made of ions, table salt is a type of salt as far as chemists are concerned. There are many other salts. There's calcium chloride, it's made of calcium ions, which come as uh, calcium 2 plus, and two chlorine ions, each one has a negative one charge. So this is just a different type of salt. Again, it's electrically neutral, but it's made of ions that neutralize each other. And there are many, many kinds of salts. Magnesium sulfate is made of magnesium ions and sulfate ions that neutralize each other. Again, I don't expect you to memorize these, but I expect you to realize that uh, salt, as far as chemists are concerned, does not always mean table salt. That's just the most common type. But anything that's electrically neutral but is made of ions is a salt. Um, another thing, many salts, in, in fact probably most of them, um, dissolve easily in water, but that's not always true. There is a table on page 258 in your textbook that lists a bunch of different salts. Don't memorize them. If you want to look at them, you're more than welcome to. But realize uh, what salt means in, in terms of chemistry. Um, I'll show you a real-world example on the next slide. On the next slide, I've taken these uh, photos from the uh, Lipitor website. For those of you who don't know what Lipitor is, it's uh, one of the best-selling medications on the planet. It is a medicine that is used to treat um, high cholesterol. And the generic name for Lipitor is atorvastatin calcium. So this is just a, a picture that I grabbed from the Lipitor website. And again, that's the commercial name, Lipitor. The, the generic name for Lipitor is atorvastatin calcium. This, is, this name is actually a tip-off to experienced chemists that Lipitor is actually a type of salt. Um, you can tell, again, I don't expect you to know that, but um, the calcium here is basically telling you that there is a calcium ion attached to atorvastatin, which also must be an ion. And if you look at the prescribing information for Lipitor, there is a picture of what Lipitor looks like, and it's this big, ugly thing over here on the left. I don't expect you to be able to understand this yet. When the course uh, is finished, you will be able to look at this and know what a lot of this means. Um, but what what you will see is that this Lipitor molecule has a negative charge, and that's what this little minus sign here means. So this whole thing is an ion because it has this negative electrical charge. And if you look, there's the calcium ion, calcium 2 plus. So one of you, or, or many of you, may be thinking, I thought they were supposed to be neutral if it was a salt. It's supposed to be made of ions and neutral. And this has a charge of plus 2. And this giant thing over here only has one negative charge. That's not neutral, because there are two positives and only one negative. However, if you look down here, there's a subscript of two for the Lipitor. So what they are telling you is that for this particular salt, this whole thing is a salt, there are two Lipitors, that's what the two here means, attached to every one calcium. And so that's basically what atorvastatin calcium means. They are telling you that you have a, uh, that Lipitor is actually a,
type of salt. It's a very fancy salt and, and probably a very expensive one, but it is a type of salt. Don't worry about this dot 3 H2O. All that really means is that there also happen to be three water molecules um, attached to this salt. So that, that's it for salts. Now we will uh, continue on with um, concentrations.